Welcome to this tutorial video on how to fly a VOR holding pattern without the help of an M FMC in the BA BAE 146 by Just Flight. I myself am following a tutorial video by Flight Insight. I will link that video in the description below. Before your plane enters a holding pattern, you must decide what type of entry you will have to fly, something that is not a major concern when flying RNAV capable aircraft. There are three types of entries for holding patterns direct entry, parallel, parallel entry, and teardrop entry. Again, I'm following a tutorial video by, that explains this in great detail. Link to the video is in the description below. Now, as you can see the, on the chart in front of you, we are going to be using the whole procedure at the, at the island of Jersey for the, it's actually after you do a missed approach uh, from, from runway 26, the ILS approach, for runway 26 and uh, it is built around the jersey vor over here actually this is uh, as pointed out by one of the forum users this is a radio communication failure procedure it is also listed on this chart if you look over here rcf and proceed as above and continue on heading 180 two minutes after initiating missed approach then turn left direct to VOR Jersey JSY to join the hold at 3000 feet but for uh, the purpose of this video we're going to be uh, treating this as a normal holding as a normal VOR hold now for this hold we have to make a parallel entry basically we'll be flying from the southwest and fly over directly above or almost directly above the jersey vor and then fly along this route Although it's a left-hand turn, it's, it goes counterclockwise. When you're doing a parallel entry, you have to go parallel to the inbound course, which will be 083 degrees. And we will fly that course for one minute and then do an about turn onto Jersey VOR. After that, we'll do the holding procedure as normal. So after entering the hold and crossing Jersey VOR, uh, and when the two from flag flips, that's the time to make a left turn onto a heading of 083. When you're doing this turn after crossing the VOR, you're not following any VOR guidance. You're just going into a heading mode and uh, flying that heading again because it's a one minute hold you will uh, we will fly it for one minute and then do a left hand turn onto a course of 263 degrees and uh, if you have set 263 in your course uh, in your course of for the VR1 then you can after you reach here this point you can even use VR lock to to make the aircraft more accurately follow the radial or the course sorry radials come out of the VR and courses are inbound usually so again once you're on the 263 course the inbound course you fly that till you cross the VOR. As soon as you cross the VOR, make a 
turn, a left hand turn to 083 degrees. And one thing I should mention that the one minute starts when you're a beam, the VOR. How can you tell that? You can, you can even use the distance bearing indicator, which is sort of an RMI, or you can, after you cross the VOR, the to from flags will flip from to to from. And once you go here, once you're a beam the VOR, again the flag will flip to two. So when you're inbound, the flag will be, and if the course is correct, the flag will be, uh, or the arrow will be pointing towards the VOR. Once you cross over the VOR, it will point in the opposite direction, which means from the VOR. And then you make a left-hand turn to 083 degrees. Once you reach this point, a beam the, which, when you're a beam, the VOR, uh, at that time, that flag, that arrow on the HSI will flip again, and it will go from from to two. That's the time when you start the stopwatch, and uh, there's a stopwatch on the aircraft also, uh, or you can use your own uh, handheld or phone stopwatch and count for a minute. After a minute is over, you turn back, go around, to 263 degrees and again you can use the VOR lock to more accurately uh, align your aircraft on this on this heading and that's about it you keep repeating the whole process rinse and repeat cross the VOR go to 083 go when you're a beam start counting till one minute and then back to 263 degrees and that's basically it and uh, I would recommend that you watch the two videos that I have uh, uh, included in my video description. They're very informative and it's, I find it fun to fly uh, a VR holding pattern without FMC because, uh, well, it, you're in control and it's fun to learn the conventional navigation. A few more things that I need to point out in the when flying this hold, this whole VR hold procedure, the maximum airspeed is eight one eighty five knots indicated airspeed. Okay, and the frequency for Jersey VR or JSY is the identifier is one one two decimal two zero, and the inbound course is two six three. And over here is the reciprocal of 263083 when you're flying the leg parallel to the inbound course. All right, so I'm, I have just taken off from Jersey, runway 26. I'm at 3,000 feet. Uh, holding the altitude and we're in heading mode and uh, right now I have to tune into the Jersey VOR there we go 11.4 nautical miles and these are the instruments that I'll be using the stopwatch this dial which is operated by this button the first push starts the stopwatch the second, uh, second push stops it and the third one resets it now, this arrow, dashed arrow, dashed line, is pointing towards the Jersey VR, so we have to go, so I have to turn left to 060. And uh, I'll dial in the course to 083 
so that once I cross the VOR, I can I can then go into VOR lock mode. So that's zero eight three. A bit more towards the right. Sorry, left. Increase the thrust. We're very low on speed. Further to the right. Now as soon as I cross the VOR, I'm going to turn to a heading of 083 and engage VOR lock. After that, I'm going to fly that heading of course for one minute and then turn back to a right hand turn into Jersey VOR. So less than 4 nautical miles and the meter will become more sensitive as plane enters the cone of confusion. Um, try to It. One point four. There we go. Heading to zero eight three. Try the VR lock mode, will it engage? I doubt it. And starting the timer for one minute. Ah, it's engaged. Almost there. And now I'll go into the heading select mode, do a right hand turn. One six zero and then all the way. Six three further I forgot to stop the stopwatch, stop reset. Two seven zero.
Now as soon as I cross the Jersey View are this flag, the two from flag, this triangle is currently pointed towards the Jersey View are. Once I cross over it, it will flip to from. That's when I have to make the make a left hand turn to 083 degrees. Almost there. Waiting for it to flip. And there we go. Zero eight three. Coming around to zero at three. And now I have to wait till an a beam of the VOR, till the plane is a beam of the VOR, and this flag will flip from form to. This is where it's pointed. There's the tail. There's the head. As soon as it flips, I'll start the stopwatch. And there we go. Start the timer. Zero eight three degrees. Heading. I think it's almost one minute. I can hardly see that hand of the watch because of the bigger and the smaller R hand of the normal clock. It's time to turn left to 263. Let me reset the watch. Two six three. No law. That should align the plane directly on the proper course. Let me keep my head in. Now, this time, again, the same process. As soon as I cross the VOR, I'm going to turn to turn left, heading of 083, and when I'm a beam the VOR, I'm going to start the stopwatch and fly that course of 083 for uh, one minute after the minute expires I'll 
again do a left hand turn to 263 and turn on the VR, VR lock and I'll do this a couple of times and then I'll have a look at how uh, we did a little nav map There we go. Big mode. And then this. And as soon as this triangle goes to the opposite side, I'll start the stop. Counting to a minute. I can hardly see that, so next time I'll do, the next time round, I'll use the normal clock. I think that's about a minute. Uh, left hand turn. Uh, Two six three, and then we'll be all off. And then, again, the same procedure, fly over the VOR, then turn left to heading of 083. Once uh, the plane is within the VOR, that's when you have to start the timer for one minute, fly that course for one minute, and then turn left again to a, head, to a heading of 263. And because uh, the viewer lock uh, facility, I can align the aircraft uh, almost perfectly using the viewer lock only on this inbound heading. Once, but when the aircraft is on the 083, there's no viewer navigation, it's just a normal heading mode. You're just flying the magnetic heading. And I'll do one more turn, one more lap.
landing mode and turn left to zero three. You can also look at the distance bearing. This is the distance bearing indicator. This is the HSI. And uh, once uh, the VOR is being the aircraft, that's when you should uh, start the timer. Almost a beam. Start the timer, but then it's 15 minutes past, 15 seconds past the minute. So I'll use this. Once the minute, ha the second hand comes all the way around to 3 or 15 seconds. That's when I'll uh, turn left back into 1263. And hopefully by now, uh, we've got an idea how to fly a VR hole using conventional navigation that we can see. It's almost there. Sorry. And turn left. Two six three. And there you have it. How to fly a VR hold in the BA-146 with old school navigation. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just stay tuned because I'll have a look at the aircraft trail on the little nav map to see how well I flew the hold. Uh, how well the aircraft was aligned within the designated airspace along the route, along the courses and radials. So I'll end the recording here. So on little nav map, the, this is the aircraft trail. I took off from Jersey and climbed to a heading of 3000, then turned south. And this is where I began the entry to the holding pattern, a parallel entry. And it seems I did not fly directly over the VOR, uh, but I went almost parallel. And it's hard to tell which, uh, I think this is the one. Yeah, so over here I turned, did a right-hand turn. I slightly went off out of the holding airspace and then onto the Jersey VOR just to the north of Jersey VOR and did my left hand turn to 183 and the second time round it's a bit better it's not but you can't be perfect when you're doing it manually uh, but uh, that's about it it's not that bad either because uh, I managed to st almost stay within the designated holding airspace. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.